Hello friends and fellow collectors, thank you so much for joining me. In today's Diecast Emporia video, I figured I would unbox and review the show truck from the 2023 Matt's show. Now, if you're not familiar, this is the Mid-America Trucking Show that takes place annually uh, in Louisville, Kentucky. Guys, if you're into anything that has to do with trucks, the trucking industry, uh, engines, any, really anything mechanical... Um, I would put this show on your bucket list to attend in person. You're going to be doing a tremendous amount of walking, but trust me, it is worth it. How big do you think the show is? Well, inside alone, it features over a million square feet of uh, exhibitors. There were over 850 different companies that were showing off and selling different things at last year's show, or this year's show, I should say. Uh, and there were 40-plus featured events, like product demos, celebrity meet and greets, as well as uh, even a couple concerts that took place. All right, enough about the show. Basically, all you need to know is that if you like trucks, if you like the trucking industry as a whole, or perhaps maybe that is your bread and butter, that's what you do for a living, hands down, if you haven't been to Matt's, put it on your to-do list. At the Matt's, as we get back on topic now, First Gear typically offers the show truck. So every year they will offer a 164 scale model that you can purchase at First Gear's booth. Yes, First Gear is one of the die-cast companies that... Uh, attends most all of the shows and one of the main reasons for that obviously is to prospect new clients for uh, internal runs that they could do but they also have a complete display of all of their models that are currently in their catalog and they are in charge of distributing and selling the dcp show truck so here it is i did purchase mine at the 2023 matt show i believe they were around 75 dollars which is really really good value uh, considering what you get and the fact that these were made in very limited numbers. So, let's take a look at the box now. If you already own a DCP by First Gear model, the box is pretty much the same uh, with the model inside the clear window. DCP by First Gear down here at the bottom. 164 scale die cast replica. Same thing at the top. Here's your side flaps. Again, they are identical on both sides. There you go. And then on the back, we have the Open Road Sold Separately, Built on Tradition, Powered by Precision, which is the slogan for DCP by First Gear. Finally, if we take a look underneath the model at the bottom of the box, copyright 2023, First Gear Incorporated. Stay up to date through their social media promotions and their website, so you can visit their website, firstgearonline.com, or call them. Over here, we finally figure out what actually is inside this. Here's your PACCAR and Kenworth licensing info. Matt's 2023, 69-1615. And it's a 164 scale Kenworth W900A Aerodyne Sleeper with utility roll tarp spread axle trailer. Bit of a mouthful, but you get the general idea. Okay, let's begin the unboxing. Now, again, be very careful taking this out of the box. There are always some potentially fragile breakable pieces. As you can see, my model is twist-tied to the bottom. I have not taken this out to take a look at it. So what we're going to do now is I am going to pause the video. When we come back, I'll have the model undone from the twist ties, and we can take a much closer look at it, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for sticking with me. Before we join truck and trailer, let's take a look at each up close and personal to get an appreciation for the details. Here is the utility tarp trailer. Again, over here, the Mid-America Trucking Show logo. You have Louisville, uh, Interstate 65 on here. Matt's 51 years. This was the 51st running of the show. On the back, you have the dates of the show going from the 29th of March to the 3rd of April, 2023. You also have the Mid-America logo on the mud flaps. Other details and decals include your lights, your DOT striping, and then the utility logo is present here, although it is pretty hard to see, but it's right here. On this side of the trailer, very much the same thing. On the front, we have a chrome reflective finish. I'm assuming that's supposed to be some sort of uh, refrigeration unit. If, not, if anything, it's obviously the very front of the trailer, regardless if it's a refrigeration unit or not. Underneath, decos, you have warning and hookup decals in yellow which are very small, but in person you can just make out what they are. And at the top you can make out that blue circle with the red lettering that is, again, the Utility Trailers logo. Looking underneath the trailer, we can see the landing legs. 
These are adjustable if you want to display the trailer by itself. Just undo the landing legs and they will drop down. If you want to raise them up, do the exact same thing in reverse. Here's the tread pattern on the spread axle axles. And you also have diamond plating texturing here on the equipment cupboards and tool cabinets between the two axles. So that's a nice show. Uh, nice addition to the show model. Moving on now to the Kenworth W900A with the Aerodyne Sleeper. Again, the most impressive aspect of this model, in my opinion, is the paint job. The dark red, along with the alternating black and brighter red striping, really, really clash. Um, clash is not the right word. They really complement the chrome work and the black frame of the truck and trailer, I think, very, very well. Taking a look underneath the truck, you can see the tanks, the exhaust, uh, even a little bit of your engine here, and then obviously your detail for your wheels for the tread pattern. The truck itself has Kenworth decaled right on the side of the engine hood. It's hard to pick up on camera, but if you go over it with your finger, the bolt heads here uh, on the sleeper cab are actually elevated a little bit, so it gives the textured feel to it. On the back, you have your lines, which are kind of in the, the tied-up position where they're not going to be in service. I assume that probably a skilled collector could undo those and glue them to the trailer if he or she desired to do so. Mud flaps similar on the truck as they are on the trailer with the Mid-America Trucking Show logo. And then as far as the fifth wheel goes, I don't believe this fifth wheel slides forward or back. I think it is in position. Uh, but you can move the actual fifth wheel forward and back if you wanted to angle it. Okay, let's take a look now at the functionality, and while we're on the truck, we'll stick with the truck. I already mentioned, really, the only functionality on the trailer. I don't believe these sides open or the back opens, so really the only functionality is the landing legs and the fact that the wheels will roll. So again, we'll focus on the truck. You've already probably noticed that the hood can be opened, and doing so reveals a detailed motor inside. Unfortunately, the doors to the cab do not open, at least they don't on my model, but... We do have a little bit of steering, and as you can see, it actually clicks into position on these models. If I would shut up for three seconds, you could probably hear that, so let's try and do that. So there you go. Hopefully that came across on camera where you can hear it clicking into position. As far as how the wheels roll, they roll well enough. Certainly with enough pressure, they will roll as well as you needed to. So, last but not least, let's join truck and trailer together. Drop the kingpin on the trailer into the fifth wheel on the truck, just like this. On these DCP trucks, for the most part, they don't really lock into position. It's just a friction fit. So simply drop it in, and then you're off to the races. They do stay connected well enough, again, to roll it forward and backwards. And if you are into commemorative items, which, let's be honest, most models are commemorative items especially one that is commemorating a show that's been going on for over half a century, I definitely would recommend picking up this model. It is a very nicely presented truck. Uh, again, it was priced very affordably at the show. I don't know what they're going for now in the secondary market. As to my knowledge, I believe you could only pick up the Matt's truck at, well, the Matt's show. That kind of makes sense. But if you were lucky enough to attend in person or know someone who did and they were able to snag one of these for your collection, I definitely don't think you'd be disappointed. I can really appreciate the detail. The functionality is decent enough, although I certainly would like to see a little bit more functionality when it comes to the trailer. But all things considered, again, for the price point, highly would recommend adding one of these show trucks to your collection. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a comment and a like down below. And if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. It is absolutely free and it costs you nothing but a moment of your time. Thanks again for watching, guys. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.